subscribe tag tv youtube channel and press the notification button you're watching tag tv India is well known around the world owing to its historical background, diverse cultures and interesting traditions. Its ancient scriptures and texts have been the way of life of its people for thousands of years. Today, the country is taking huge strides in various fields like arts and science, paving a way towards a progressive India. So friends, I am your host Shreya Sabajay and today in our episode of My India, We'll take a look at some of the stories that very well showcase the unique culture and prosperity of our country stretching from Himalayas to Kanyakumari. In India, every festival, be it of Hindus, Muslims, Sikhs or Christians, is celebrated with immense gusto. But this year, the coronavirus pandemic has just taken away the sheen from every festivity as people can neither organize huge gatherings nor can step outside to celebrate the occasion. Recently, Eid al-Fitr, which is marked by large meals and other festivities, was also observed in solitude by the country's Muslims. Have a look. The Muslims across India celebrated Eid al-Fitr in silence this year due to the lockdown imposed by the Prime Minister Narendra Modi to curb the spread of coronavirus. Though the rules have been relaxed in areas with low numbers of cases, only a few shoppers wearing masks were seen otherwise in crowded markets. In New Delhi, the iconic Jama Masjid area saw a little crowd. However, it was nothing as compared to the number of people turning up every year to shop with the festival being around the corner. Market ke halat to abhi bilkul bahut hi kam hai. Customer vagera bhi bahut kam aa raha hai. Aur hum bhi yahan par bahut dhyan rakhna hai social distancing ka. Aur lockdown ki wajah se raste bhi block hain. Customer bhi bahut kam aa raha hai aur mal bhi bahut kam hai. The fear of coronavirus was felt deep in India on Eid as mosque courtyards remained deserted and there was a gloomy silence in the otherwise bustling markets. While in Amritsar city of Punjab, only a few devotees offered namaz following social distancing rules. At other places too, the usual festive atmosphere was missing with mosques remaining closed and devotees staying indoors. Sanata hai, har saal bhot shor rehta tha. Is saal kiyo bolay to apne corona virus charana, ham log khud social distance maintain karke ghar mein namaz pad liye. Kiyo bolay to corona virus bhot tabdili se phair raha hai. Eid al-Fitr is believed to be celebrated on the first day of Shawwal, the 10th month of Islamic lunar calendar. The celebration depends on the sighting of the moon and its celebration varies in different countries. The day begins with early morning prayers and then family visits and feasts. Though the festival is marked by huge gatherings every year, but this time, amid coronavirus outbreak, devotees preferred offering namaz at their residences to mark the auspicious occasion. Having regards for the beliefs and traditions of every religion, this is what our Indian culture has taught us for ages. At present, when the whole country is battling with the coronavirus, Several examples can be found that are still keeping this culture intact. 
One among them is Mata Vaishno Devi Shrine Board in Katra area of Jammu and Kashmir that has not just quarantined hundreds of Muslims but even made special arrangements for them during the month of Ramadan. Epitomizing communal harmony, the Sri Mata Vaishno Devi Shrine Board was working overnight to provide Sehri and Iftari to around 500 Muslims quarantined at Ashirwad Bhavan in Katra. Sehri is a small meal taken before the sunrise, while Iftari is taken after the fast ends at the sunset during the holy month of Ramadan. The shrine even did special arrangements for the Muslims on the occasion of Eid that celebrates the end of holy month of fasting with large meals and other festivities. जो क्वारंटाइन सेंटर था डिस्ट्रिक्ट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन रिक्वेस्ट पे हमने एस्टैब्लिश किया था वहां डिस्ट्रिक्ट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ही उसको मैनेज कर रही थी उसको जितने भी लोग वहां पे ला रहे थे तो पहले चल रहा था खाने का तरीका सब फिर जब रमजान शुरू हुआ तो कुछ लोगों की वहां से रिक्वेस्ट आई कि यहां पर कुछ मुस्लिम भाई है तो उनको जो खाने का शेड्यूल है वो उस तरीके से सूट नहीं होता जिनको थोड़ा सा चेंज किया जाए इस अर्ली मॉर्निंग का सहरी और इफ्तार के लिए फिर हमने उसको जो जितने भी मुस्लिम भाई थे उनके लिए उस तरीके से अकोमोडेट किया कि जिससे सुबह सहरी उपलब्ध आ जाए शाम को इफ्तार The migrant laborers had come to Jammu and Kashmir from different parts of the country in special shramik trains and buses to Udhampur town which is about 40 kilometers from Katra where they are staying. The shrine board has spent around rupees 80 lakh on providing food to the needy since March 28 in various quarantine centers at Katra. It has also spent around rupees 1.5 crore in aiding the COVID-19 response. हमारी कोशिश ये रही है कि, कि यहाँ पर जो भी जितने भी क्वारंटाइन सेंटर में आए उनको अच्छी तरीके से हम भोजन उपलब्ध करवाएं और अच्छे तरीके से रहें। द श्री माता वैष्णो देवी श्राइन इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट रिवर्ड हिंदू श्राइन एंड इज ऑल्सो द सेकेंड रिचेस्ट आफ्टर तिरुमला तिरुपति देवस्थान इन इंडिया ऑल फैसिलिटीज ऑफ द श्राइन बोर्ड इन कटरा आर वेल मेंटेन्ड एंड पिलग्रिम्स फ्रॉम अक्रॉस द कंट्री प्रिफर दम ओवर होटल्स for the cleanliness hygienic food comfortable bedding and hospitable staff now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently prime minister narendra modi announced a 500 crore rupees aid package for cyclone hit odisha during his recent visit to the state modi along with odisha chief minister navin patnaik surveyed parts of the state from a helicopter looking down on acre upon acre of land swamped with flood waters tatkal avashyakta ko dhyan mein rakhte hue bharat sarkar ki taraf se 500 crore rupya advance vyavastha ke roop mein dene ka humne nirnay kiya hai Earlier in the day, Modi also announced an emergency aid of 10 billion to help the cyclone's hardest hit West Bengal state. Amphan originally started as a super cyclone with wind speeds reaching over 230 km per hour, the equivalent of a category 5 hurricane, but it weakened after making landfall into a very severe cyclone as it moved inland through Bangladesh. Government of Manipur has allocated special quarantine center for transgender separate from both men and women. Sanju and a few others like her will be quarantined at the facility for a period of 14 days. For now, the total capacity of all the transgender quarantine centers in the state is 45, but it can further be increased if needed. ยามฮาราวบนดวงไอ้มาพาวเองดีนุปีมรักตาสูนุปามรักตาสูอ่ะคุยอเมดาฮะดีนุปีมรักตาสังเจริญเลยบุษนุงไอ้จะเดนุปามรักตาสังเจริญเลยบุษนุงไอ้จะเดอ่ะคุยกี่ตรงกันสมัยนะอ่อคุยกี่ตรงมันก็ตรานส์กี่ตรงมันก็ตรงกันนะสเตปเปอร์ตัวนี้ทำบีบเสียยามที่นั่นดวงไอ้มาฮาราวบนดวงไอ้มาพาว Although the government relaxed the rules of lockdown in its fourth phase. 
those who are returning home from other cities are required to have mandatory 14 day quarantine. Dressing up as a clown and performing to a crowd. It's the best way Sheetal Agarwal can think of to lift the spirits of migrant workers staying in New Delhi shelters during a nationwide lockdown to slow the spread of coronavirus. During a recent visit to a shelter housing hundreds of workers, she and her sister danced in a hula hoop and joked around with families and police officers. We are going to shelter home where there are a lot of migrants staying right now because of the lockdown who could not go back to their places and they are confined to these uh, closed spaces where they are uh, placed. So we are going to cheer them up because we feel that if staying at home we can be so unhappy or so sad and stressed then their level of stress would be very high considering they are not even with their families or they really are worried about the families back home. So we thought it will be wonderful if we can bring a smile on their faces and distract them from the pain that they are feeling. The 34-year-old counsellor was first inspired to bring cheer to children in hospitals after meeting a medical clown at a workshop about four years ago. She plunged wholeheartedly into the vocation, first training herself and then forming a group of similar-minded volunteers loosely following the path of the Hollywood movie Patch Adams. The country's strict lockdown measures such as severing transport links have taken a toll on the nation's estimated 100 million migrant workers, triggering an exodus from cities where they worked in garment factories, building sites and brick kilns. Today in our section of Asia Buzz, we will see how Japan is leaving no stone unturned in supporting its citizens amid the COVID-19 pandemic. On one hand, a Japanese aviation company is providing its support by producing medical treatment gowns and face shields. And on the other, Tokyo Metropolitan Corporation is using robots to extend its service to people quarantined at hotels. We have a report. Amid coronavirus crisis, world aviation companies are suffering due to decrease in passengers and air flights. But even in this scenario, all Nippon Airways has decided to provide its support by producing medical treatment gowns and face shields. It is providing its staff with every facility and is taking measures to ensure that the working place is clean and safe. Even in the air inside, every work room is changed regularly so as to avoid infection further, helping to implement Japan's method of social distancing, which is based on avoiding three C's. The three C's here refer to closed space with poor ventilation, crowded place with many people nearby, and close contact setting such as close range conversations. はじめに医療用ガウンにつきましては政府から要請がございまして、私どもとしても ANA is supporting Japanese sewing company in producing medical gowns so as to meet the supply requirements of the item and extend its help in the fight against the coronavirus. The plan is to produce 50,000 gowns by June. こういうガウンを作ることを作ることは自体は技術的には全く問題なくて作ることはできると思うんですけども、そのま、メディカルなものですから、やっぱりこう衛生的な部分っていうのは一番配慮しています。で、品質っていうのはすごく大切で、もしかすると一つの小さな
Thanks to the help from business like ANA, that healthcare frontline workers will not fall short of equipment that they need to work safely. ANA's bold decision to produce medical gowns and facials reflects a strong desire to see passengers returning back to travel. 私たちが世界中、国内中、移動できるようなまた状況になればいいなということ、これの将来を私たちは願って、今、作業をしているところでございます。The plan is to produce 50,000 gowns by June to help in the fight against the coronavirus. This sincere effort will certainly have great impact. Next, we will see how robots are becoming vital in helping Japan in its fight against the coronavirus pandemic. Recently, the Tokyo Metropolitan Government unveiled robots that will be used in two hotels accommodating patients infected with the novel coronavirus. The aim is to efficiently clean the hotel which accepts a symptomatic patient or those having light symptoms so as to decrease the burden of staff. <laughs> To help with hospitality, humanoid robot welcomes patients in the hotel lobby. This robot is designed to connect, assist, and share knowledge with them. Another robot is fully autonomous vacuum sweeper. It is powered by artificial intelligence that recognizes QR code and can map out the entire floor plan after one full sweep. Of course, having the floor clean is, makes the more minimized the risk of getting um, affected to other guys. And for the humanoid robot, because under this situation, um, many people are dying with coronavirus too and they are very worried and anxious about what's going on even though there is not a seriously so they're still in the in the hotel but so what the humanoid robot is we intended is that kind of cheer up and um, at least just say hey how do you do because they're basically not allowed to meet anybody directly so that's one of the things probably the humanoid robot can help with communication with human beings The Tokyo Metropolitan Government has also introduced an app for managing the health condition of patients at the hotel. It allows patients to record their body temperature and other data about the physical condition, making the information more efficient than what the staff member receive by making a phone call to each patient twice a day. The APA Ryokoku Hotel can accommodate about 300 people. Two nurses are available around the clock while a doctor is also present during a day. Tokyo Governor Yuriko Kwaike visited this hotel to interact with robot. Currently, there are five locations in Tokyo that make up for 2,800 rooms accepting coronavirus patients. Japan has taken a big step in fighting against the virus, and with the support of robots and hotels, patients are made to feel more relaxed. Moreover, the technology is also helping them to recover and prevent the spread of infection. There can be no better way to celebrate Eid than to spread happiness by helping others. This kind of Eid was recently observed by a locality in Kerala's Alapura district where locals belonging to different communities came together to collect money for surgery of a 36-year-old man. This year, as Muslims could not celebrate the festival in a grand manner amid coronavirus outbreak, locals here chose to celebrate it with a touch of communal harmony. The streets of Vataya locality in Kerala's Alapura district were lying almost barren this Eid al-Fitr due to coronavirus lockdown. As Muslims in the area did not go for any grand celebrations this year, adhering to lockdown norms, 
they chose to pass on the hat for the noble cause which was also joined by their hindu and christian neighbors and fully supported by valiokulam juma masjid these people belonging to different faiths got united to collect money for the surgery of a 36 year old man mohammad rafi whose both kidneys have failed thereby spreading a message of communal harmony along with generosity on eid we are always standing for the communal amity there is no religion here only human relationship we are so many people so many religions are there muslims hindus christians that that does not matter but we are living as brothers and sisters we live we believe in secularism we want a communal amity so when a when when a something happening adverse to a person we don't see whether he is whether which caste he belongs but we are having human humanity our move is behind humanity so it is our maiden duty the important duty to help the people who are in uh, distress on the festive day this group of samaritans visited every household in order to seek donation for rafi whose surgery requires 25 lakhs rupees rising above religious lines the locals too gave them a warm welcome and donated wholeheartedly there were many who even cancelled their plans to buy costly dresses and have lavish meals on eid to contribute for this noble cause apna khana peena kapda sab isko kam karke ye chokre ke liye iska dabher ke liye operation ke liye 35 lakh rupya ke liye hum sab log ek maligolam juma masjid ka mahal निवासी और अपना आई एल का म्यूनिसपल चेयरमैन श्रीमान इलीकल कुंजमोन सब लोग मिलके सब पार्टी मिलके सब इंसान मिलके इसको मदद करने के लिए आज निकला हो ईद दैट हैज ऑलवेज बीन अ ग्रैंड अफेयर फॉर द मुस्लिम्स वाज ऑब्जर्वड इन अ वेरी सॉम्बर वे दिस ईयर अमिट कोरोना वायरस आउटब्रेक but the way few people turned it into a noble affair like those in alapura made it even more meaningful while the entire world is battling deadly corona virus authorities organizations and individuals have been coming out with a number of creative methods to spread awareness and fight the pandemic one such way is developed by an engineer in Coimbatore city of Tamil Nadu who has created a robot to fetch groceries and other essential items for him have a look amid the nationwide lockdown people are jostling in long queues for shopping essential items like food and groceries a young man named Kartik Velayutam however found a solution to manage this affair He developed a robot by himself to shop for him The robot pathina world la ninga enga endanalum control pannalam internet appuram video call use panni nama control pannikalam appuram indha robot vandu shopping ku la use pannum bodhu nama social distance vandu nama maintain panna mudiyum yaar pakkathilum poi avanga pakkathil ninda da porul vaangradha nama vandu avoid pandrathukaga idu pannirukom An engineer in India's southern Coimbatore city, Karthik designed the robot to run errands to help maintain social distancing during the coronavirus pandemic. Built within a time span of 2 days and a small budget of rupees 3000 only, the robot is a humble machine on a cardboard box resting on a four-wheeled wooden platform. The robot is performing a crucial job for its creator at a time when social interactions carry the risk of catching the virus. We just pack one and the robot leaves it and the robot will be food pick up and it will be as a customer the robot will do pick up and it will be a bit different and a bit surprising. In this way, in the future, we will follow the coronavirus and the disease and the spreading. நம்ம நம்ம சேவ் பண்ணிக்கலாம் 
Karthik controls the machine from the comfort of his home and uses the robot's built-in smartphone to send commands via internet. The machine that can carry up to 30 kilograms of weight tells the shopkeeper as to what Karthik wants to buy via video call and pays by means of electronic payment. Karthik is hopeful that the robot can be used for shopping, for police patrolling and even in situations like fire outbreak where it is dangerous for people to go. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at mindya at nin.com. I'm your host Shreya Savijay and it's goodbye from the entire production team. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.